Today we want to have a closer look at why Audis are such popular getaway cars for criminals. Let's pick a few cases from Germany. The dramatic robbery in Berlin's luxury shopping center KDW in 2014. Five guys and equipment arrived in a rented Audi A4 B8 Avant. In 2017, criminals in Berlin used an Audi A6 Avant to transport the 100 kg golden coin Big Marble Leaf after they stole it from Bode Museum. In 2019, criminals bought a blue S6 C6 Avant with 5.2 liter V10 engine and 435 horsepower, wrapped it in white, broke into Dresden's castle, robbed Saxony's crown jewels, sped away and burned the car shortly after in an underground parking garage. In 2021, a money transport was robbed in Berlin. Getaway car was, again, an S6 C6 Avant with V10 engine. And then, there are the ATM gangs. Gangs mostly from the Netherlands which come quickly into Germany with usually four people and equipment, blow up ATMs and get away quickly across the border. Very often their getaway cars are fast black Audis. Rarely they use S3, S4 or S8, but by far the most popular getaway car for them is the RS6. Generations C6, C7 and C8. So let's go into the details of why these cars are so popular. First of all, engine power. The older S6 C6 started at 435 horsepower, while the latest R6 C8 has over 600. These are very fast cars. The important thing here is their quality and hence reliability. These cars can output this power over a long time can drive high speeds for longer without overheating, because of the extreme development requirements the VW Group had at this time. When it was normal to develop the cooling of a car so that it can drive top speed at 45 degree ambient temperature until the fuel tank is empty, Piech wanted an additional requirement for the Phaeton to be able to drive on a racetrack at 50 degree ambient temperature. And this requirement was later copied across other car projects. Check out my Phaeton video to learn all about the impressive project. Also, on a VW Group car there should be no D rating, so a reduction in power, especially for high performance vehicles. So cooling and especially intercooling was a high priority. So much so that Audi, among other brands, got condensation problems, because intercooling was too good, about which you can learn everything in my other video. And there was the special bus test, another very demanding requirement which simulates being in a traffic jam behind a bus, breathing in hot exhaust gas at 50 degree, and the car should still not overheat. That's one of the reasons why Audi cars have such large and powerful fans. In addition to that, there was the requirement to develop every component for at least 300,000 km. Another Piech idea, because other brands had much lower requirements. So, Every developer needs a number and running hours his component should be able to last, and at Audi this number was higher than the competition, so components have to be more stable and reliable. Also, the cars were sold with a limited top speed of 250 km per hour, but were developed for 300. Another taken over fit on requirement. And because of all this over engineering, Especially Audis reached a very high quality level and performance reliability. Next topic is the suspension. These Audis have the complex 4 and 5 link front suspension, about which you can learn everything in my other video. It's basically a double wishbone suspension with two upper and two lower arms. At the rear, these cars have multi-link suspensions with spring and damper acting directly at the wheel carrier. Suspension components are lightweight aluminium for minimal unsprung mass and precise wheel guidance. So with these suspensions, Audis are very accurate and easy to drive fast. They are stable at high speeds and only understeer when they get over the limit, which is easy to control for everyone. Additionally, the VW Group has extreme requirements when it comes to suspension reliability. They have different curb tests, which means that a car hits a curb at high speeds and the suspension shouldn't fail. It's applied to all VW Group cars and it was the reason why the flimsy Lamborghini Diablo and Murcielago suspension disappeared and the Aventador had a much more stable design. 
Also, because of that, all the track rod ends have a designed in weak spot. So if you hit something hard and it overstresses the suspension, the steering wheel isn't straight anymore to show the driver that something's wrong, but the suspension doesn't fail. For other brands, it could snap in the same situation or damage more expensive components, which means the car could break down. The RS6 has adaptive air suspension at front and rear. That doesn't just mean that the car is even easier to control because active suspension helps the driver, it also has a lift mode for possible off-road. And if you ever transport something heavy or have the trunk full of fuel, the rear end is never hanging, which would be suspicious, because the air suspension keeps the car level. And another very good reason to choose an Audi as a getaway car is of course the Quattro all-wheel drive. It gives you a lot more traction, fast acceleration without wheel spin, it avoids drifts, which might be hard to control for an untrained driver, while when you drift you are much faster than with rear-wheel drive. And if you ever drive off-road, you won't get stuck so easily. Also, the body quality with properly closing doors is an advantage. An RS5, for example, has only two doors, which are very long and heavier. So you need more space with them and you might not be able to close it as quickly as a shorter RS6 door. Also, the RS6 has a window frame for the doors, while the RS5 has frameless windows. That means when you touch the handle, you need to wait shortly until the window rolls down to be able to open the door. And these top Audis often have soft close, which helps you to close the door. Another advantage is actually the special Audi package with longitudinal engines in front of the front axle. You can learn all about this package, its advantages and disadvantages, and its history which goes back to the 1930s in my other video. So this front biased package again supports understeer, which is easier to control than oversteer. And because components are further forward, you have more space in the interior. Another advantage is the understatement look of the Audis. These are very fast cars and they simply blend into traffic. They have a normal shape and most people wouldn't realize that these are high performance cars. And because they are VW group cars, they share many parts with other vehicles. So spare parts are no problem and most workshops can work on them. And on the used car market, these Audis are widely available for relatively low prices considering the amount of money criminals rob with these vehicles. But also these Audis sometimes fail while getting away. So what are the main reasons for them to fail? One reason is very simple, they run out of fuel and are left behind. Sometimes because of the constant high speed and running with two old tires, they suffer from tire failures. And sometimes these are caused by police spikes. Another frequent reason is simply a crash. Police cars which ram criminals intentionally or they try to push through a road blockage. Anyway, if they successfully get away with their Audis, they often burn it to destroy all evidence. So in summary, Audis are by far the most popular getaway cars. They are fast, reliable, easy to drive and have lots of space. Especially S and RS models seem to be the favorites. And the dream of every criminal is an Audi RS6. So I hope you found that interesting and learn more about special car tech in my other videos. See you at the next one.